everyone, and welcome to the first part of this Mandate of Heaven. Let's play. Um, yeah, this verified content creator thing is awesome. We've once again got early access to a new DLC for a Total War game. It is not yet even released, and so I'm really happy to bring some gameplay from it. And it has been really good. I tried it out for 10 minutes earlier on just to make sure everything was wonking hunky dory because this is not a finished build I just want to come I've not I've only tried it for 10 minutes but as usual the game is not out yet this is a press build for the game I'm currently running the game on so there might be one or two things that are a wee bit not perfect um, I expect it to be nearly there but I'm expecting it to need that last little so the last pass for uh, before release kind of thing, like needing that last little tiny bit of polish. So I thought I'd just get that in there just to make sure he's all new. But then, see, they're normally well these days they're normally really good, especially when it comes to uh, DLC them being just perfect. And it's a DLC; it's not like it's going to be anything too daunting new wise. Yes, a very nice simple AI. I quite like it. You can see straight away here. Instead of it being like a full new campaign, you click on one or the other. They've just changed it to a start date for each campaign. And you just click the start date you want. You can see which characters are available each start date. That's very nice with the House of the Han. New characters. This guy's actually got a start date in both. Liu Chong. Liu Hong. This, I really like the sound of a campaign from this guy because it's so different from Total Wars to date. Because he's got the, like, he's not even a character on the campaign map. He's just a character in the character panel, so to speak. And he's still your faction leader with that sort of stuff going on. He's got that new army. He's got He Jin leading that army. And it's like the super OP units, but replenish incredibly slowly. So that sounds quite interesting as well. Then uh, obviously you've got the warlords Yang Zhao, Gong Zan, Yang Shu, Dong Zhu, Dong Zhu. One of the things we want to point him out is I will not shut. You've got the two starting dates for Dong Zhu. Although he Mini Dong, to the emperor, he lo the Dong loses some Dong of its girth Although when you go to the earlier starting date. Dong Zhu, Dong, 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 Zhu, Dong, Zhu, Dong Zhu, Dong Zhu. I just wanted to point Although that out. Governors, we got Tao Kwan, which is the other DLC that come along with it. So quite a few new characters. Bandits, only the one starting area. Yellow turbans. We got the three new characters, including Zhang Zhu, which is who we're going to be playing, who's overall leader of the Yellow Turbans. So we are going to be the Mandate of Heaven, the Rebellion faction. And obviously, the eight princes only have this later starting date. So yeah, yellow turbans, Zhang Do Zhu. Not Do now, not I compromise. think because I reinstalled the Zhang game, Zhue has heard his future yeah, it's reset everything to normal. To so let's put Black everything Dynasty back up to very hard. The people to a better future. We can see a uh, zeal resource shared with other yellow turban factions. So zeal, so there's an overall zeal for all three of the factions. I really like how these three sort of factions link it together like if one does badly that's going to affect the others if all three do really well that's going to help the other two as well i really like this sort of three factions fight act treating themselves as sort of one faction almost if you get what i'm saying they're like technically three factions in game but their benefits and all that really sort of suit sort of working together and suit like promote yeah using your allies normally in total wars you're normally like oh, your allies there he's yeah he's your ally for now but it may not be that way for long depending on whether the ai decides to turn on you or yeah there's look it's like your allies aren't they don't feel like true genuine friend, friends a lot of the time in total war games especially on harder difficulties where the ai is uh, very likely to betray you and stab you in the back but this is quite different from what I've seen. So I'm looking forward to that. Actually having a couple of allies that you can... Well, they're my two brothers. Um, and I know 
eight princes, brothers, and all that stuff doesn't seem to confirm that friendship in Total War games, it does seem to do it here. So yeah, these factions really should not be going to war with each other. Symbiosis, playstyle, symbiosis between the three factions and restoration. Uh, zero decreases over time, gain from casualties, income from replenishment, increase income from income and replenishment, yada yada yada. Uh, unique features, messengers of heaven, and chosen of the eight immortals, melee infantry. What? Start the campaign? Dark rumors are spoken in every corner of the land, whispering of the end of the hunt. <laughs> The Dang brothers, plotting from their home commandery, seek to tear down what they see as a corrupt dynasty. Ambition flowers like a weed, all consuming and suffocating. None are immune to its sickly sweet allure. As the Hun weaken, the eunuch advisors claw more power to themselves. Once loyal warlords sense opportunity, lines are drawn as all move to consolidate their own power, whilst Zhang Jue conspires to take the throne itself. acts to secure his rule with the empress and the eunuchs battling for control of his court peace hangs by a thread a torrent of blood will surely be spilled before the dynasty's fate is determined nice little the hun have intro. claimed their rightful place with steel and blood and have stood for centuries as the ruling dynasty of China, inheritors of the Qin's right to rule. In the many years since their ascendancy, myriad Hun emperors have ruled the land, and each has maintained the dynasty in their own way. Enough of that. Continue. Now is the time, Zhang Jue. From every village in every province, your banners rise. The Han's deceit crushes the people and chokes the realm. The mandate of heaven abandons the dynasty. They must fall. My brothers stand with me. We channel the way. Three men, one purpose. We are with you, brother. Their time is done. Let nothing brook our path to victory. Here in the north, you must grow in strength and numbers, and quickly. In the south, the sleeping Hun will not stay dormant for long. When they hear our call, the people will answer. Liu Yang awaits your judgment, Zhang Jue. May the way show you to righteous victory. Why the Lords of Heaven? As a healer, the purest to the purest of folk. Of the land, you have seen the harshness of the hand government firsthand, but no longer can you sit idly by. You have risen up with your brothers, and the people have followed. The hand shall f fall, and the way of peace shall rise. Unite with your brothers to defeat the hand. Build carefully, for enemies surround you. Uh, Zhang Zhu's finest achievement is restoring order in the land. Some some in this land seek to end the suffering of the people, but simply again, engage the enemy general. Right, start off with some incineraries here in faith, which we should give to our people. Right, I don't like a uh, strong characters Only having from the peak can these because it'll be all right at killing lightly armored infantry which is shut up for a second zangju i'm talking now you've had your chance 
Um, I think I'm going to swap it to a spear. Because characters are always heavily armoured. So you'll lose out on the resolve, but you'll gain the strength, uh, the expertise, and the uh, instinct. But it'll give him armour piercing. His damage will be armour piercing, so you'll be better against heavier infantry. And you'll be better, a lot better against characters too. Right, so... Big deal. Six instinct could be handy on him, but who do we have here? Ma Yuan Yi and Liang Zongning. Zongning. Ning. And this is the guy that is blue, so he's going to get my elite archer units and stuff and have lots of stuff in there. So there was one for Cunning, wasn't there? Yeah, we're going to give that to you. You're very nearly ranked up in resolve, so we'll give that to you too. Spear will probably leave you with a spear. Though the hammer spear looks really nice. That's for you here. It's expertise, you're really close. We'll give you that for now. Because you're quite good on the old resolve. So if we get your expertise to max, that'll be quite good. As for here, we'll just give you the instinct. Boom. Alright, you can go away. You can go away. Not Do we see? Oh, just two units of cavalry? That's not really a Truth fight. Will prevail. I was wanting to get as a fight so we can see on show off some of these new units. Because look at this, we've got archer gangs. They're new. Chosen of the eight immortals. They're new. G defectors. They're new. Messengers of Heaven, they're new. Uh, Redeemed Outlaws, they're all new. Heaven guided our weapons. Took next to no losses. Ten zeal, very nice. Oh, we captured this guy. He's got nothing of value to steal, so we're just gonna let him go. He's only level one. Age 42, so he's not really much a threat. Let them go. They and we'll take another 220 go. income. On the path. That's a nice bit of income. Then we just got 5,000 treasure and 5 zeal for completing this first mission. And uh, okay, a strong foundation this for the uprising. Captured by Zhang Zhu. Okay, so we'll capture the town, we get 5 zeal and unlocks the missions to bolster the strength of the rebellion. This is one of the things we'll talk about when we get there that I was on about earlier, about how the factions work together. Together then. And yeah, together Have then, courage. just as he said. And again, there's only four units, it's not really a battle. I want to try and get a paddle somewhere this a pa yeah, not even a battle, a paddle somewhere this part. So far, Fenahan a wee bit too blessed. easy. I want a battle! Maybe I should have just fought that one because it's probably the closest I'm going to get for now. The there we go, we conquered the town. The Mandate of Heaven. The corrupt Han Dynasty has lost the Mandate of Heaven. The people of China now look to you to free them from the tyranny of the Imperial Court. Strike out against the Han, but beware, they still have numbers of warlords and armies under their command. They will not sit idly by whilst followers of Heaven seek battle with their subjects. The yellow sky shall rise. And we've got new missions. Mission issued. The yellow turban sees control of the renowned toolmakers. Okay. Control the following free settlements either by direct ownership or allies. This is different. Gain powerful equipment. I'm pretty sure this was different. I didn't have this mission last time. I like that. How is these missions are different. Because the last time it was the three farms. It was like here, this farm, that farm, and I uh, don't know what the third farm was, but there's a third farm somewhere. Now I managed to take here, my, he managed to take there, and he managed to take whatever must have been here, farmland-wise, and we were like we completed the mission. But instead, gave powerful equipment for the yellow turbines. So we get better weapons and armor if we manage to complete this mission, which uh, there's a town all the way over there. 
There's an iron mine there. There's a tool maker there. So it's basically take over the mountains. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wasn't one last time. So hopefully one of my brothers will push out that way and take over the stuff over there. And then that will be that mission done. Because it's between me and my allies. And I think they get missions themselves. And yeah, that'll be quite good. That'll increase that. It's for everyone. All three factions get that if I complete that mission. The enemies of heaven are destroyed by Zhang Zhu. Defeat 20 armies or garrisons. Uh, Zhang Zhu defeats armies. Yeah, that's the same as one of the missions I had when I was testing out earlier. Destroy the faction. He joins the rebellion. That's the same as well. Zhang Zhu secures the northern border. The rebels seize the farmlands to feed the people. Ah, wait, that one's the same. So maybe I just didn't notice the one at the top. This is the one I was on about. So what three farms was that one there? That one there? And that one there? Okay. So it's really my job to take that one. Right. Oh, and I forgot to see what the farmland was. Oh, it's just money. Oh, is that money for all three factions or is that money just for me? I don't know. So we can see here we start off with a sympathizer meeting place. Gives fever to the local commandery, public order, public order negative to enemies nearby, and recruitment cost reduction. Very nice. A little public workshop for industry. I'm almost tempted just to instantly finish that because we do have quite a bit of money for now. It won't let me recruit yet, will it? Oh, it does. All right. Let's see what we've got here. We've got peasantry, volunteers, spearmen gang, archer gang, and poachers. The poachers, what are they? Wait, no, I don't want to recruit them. I just wait to see what this is. This is a uh, ignore ground type. Okay. And guerrilla deployment. Immune to attrition. They're all immune to attrition. Oh, that's good to know. Very nice to know. Like stat wise, let's compare them. So slightly worse than melee, but slightly better as archers. And then they're slightly cheaper to maintain. Not by much, but slightly. And I don't think I'd use the gorilla deployment a lot, unless my whole army had it. I don't like my archers. If the enemy don't have cavalry, it would be useful to have. You could harass them as they came towards you. Because these guys are on foot, if the enemy have like a couple of units of cavalry, completely useless. Unless you want to set them up on the flanks, and as they come in, and if you're on the defense, they engage you, all of a sudden you don't have to move your archers on the flank, you've already got rear shots. But, but it is a gamble, because if they do have cavalry, they might find them by just going through the woods themselves. So for now, I think I'm just going to go archer gang. And uh, we've already got two units of them. Let's go up to the six. That's for you. G defectors. So they used to be G infantry, but now they're my infantry. Light halberd infantry, good to know. Medium halberd infantry, and it looks like the dual wielding. It looks like they've got the smaller ones, the like mini halberds, one in each hand. I can't remember what they're called. Hmm. I'll just get a couple units of the spearman band for now. Out of movement, but the new reform tree. Oh, is that not beautiful? Looks like we start off with one point already in a new beginning. Which is 5 enlightenment and 6k to population growth. Faction wide, that could be quite useful. So this is like my settlement, public order, building upkeep. Yeah, so this is like my growth, money, like well, growth, peasantry, food, settlement kind of tree. A wee bit of trade in there as well by the looks of things. What's this? Okay, character experience, recruit experience, reserves, satisfaction, 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 lots of satisfaction, character salary, satisfaction, enlightenment, a building there, another building there. Mm -hmm. so this is basically characters. Okay, this tree. Uh, and I can just take a look straight away by the little pictures 
beside every single one of these research, I'm guessing this is all just units, units, units. And wait a minute, these units at the top, what's this? Uh, the Righteous Vanguard, Jazai Raiders, uh, Bringers of Peace. I'm pretty sure these are the new elite uh, Hung Lao's Paragons. I'm pretty sure these are the new super elite units the the yellow turbans have specifically to combat the super elite units of a uh, the the imperial hand faction start with they start with their super elite angles and it was the, what i was talking about at the beginning before we actually went into the campaign they had the exemplars of the tau they did not have the exemplars of the tau but they had that really bad like recovery the lands chosen Oh yeah, so lots of really powerful units. I'm probably gonna get up that tree at some point. But yeah, these units are like really good at killing those ones kind of thing. Like they're specifically designed to go after the weakness of those strong units that are gonna be beast mode. Okay, and this looks like it's industry. The oh the pre-battle like stuff. I do like the sound of that, but it's quite far up the tree. Oh, we got one right near the beginning. The pre-battle stuff, that's one of the new things in this DLC. I think I'm gonna to want to go after that. Okay, what is this first one I need to get put? Enlightenment retinue upkeep. Retinue upkeep reduction would be quite helpful. I do like that. It's gonna be one of our main sources of expenses. So getting a 15% reduction to that could be quite useful. And then I really want to get to the pre-battle deployables. So for now we'll go for that, then we'll go for the pre-battle deployables. Then we may see this would give me redeemed outlaws. This would give me saber defectors, which would yeah, would not be a bad idea. And messengers of heaven. The G defectors. It's the messengers. Oh, oh, the new multi bolt crossbow. Oh, 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 oh! I'm torn. I'm torn. The pre-battle deployables. Oh, the cro new crossbow. I really want to try the new crossbow. You know what? Pre-battle stuff first. We'll try the new crossbow after. Because if you've watched any of my other things, I really like artillery. Our faith will sunder oppression. Now, I think that's us ready to in turn. So let's do so. There's Liu Hong. With his big beady thing coming down over his head. I can see my brothers are taking their first provinces. The rebellion has unofficially started. Because it's not officially war yet. So he took Yi, he took Amping. Right. For the... For the mission we need to take here, and it's the next piece of this province... So, I think strategically, I'm going to want to make sure we unify this sort of corner first. So, I'm going to advance north and east and try and take all of this, which is why I was a wee bit disappointed to see one of the missions over there. But I really want to take over all this. And I'm pretty sure the He Yi one was to defeat Liu Yu and conquer all of Liu Yu stuff. So, if I conquer all that, I'll get He Yi, which is a powerful character. I would love to get He Yi. So yeah, it sounds like a good idea. So yeah, if I can conquer all this, I'll be a really happy bunny. And hopefully one of my brothers will conquer like all this. Hopefully the other brother will conquer all like all this. And then we'll have a unified front like this. And at the start of the war, will be very powerful for us then to push out. And see what we can do. Dong Zhu starts somewhere over here. So we're going to have to worry about him building his, his corner. Then us free him to fight his corner. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. It's too early to be talking that sort of tactics. Just initially, my full job is to focus taking this and let my brothers focus taking their initial footholds. So let's move on over. Honor, faith. This is not the way. This is not the way. We can get quite close. We'll end turn. Reject corruption. 
And once again, I'm almost tempted just to fight this, just so we can have a look at the units. You know, yeah, we're getting close to the end of a part. We'll fight this pathetically small battle. Just to get a good wee look at the new units. Wow. No characters at all, no speech. Ah, so there we go, begins. here's the speech. The corruption and the decay of the Han can continue no longer. The people suffer under an unjust and greedy dynasty. The land starves and the earth splits. It portends only one thing. The Han have lost the mandate of heaven. With my brothers, I shall lead the way. The blue sky must fall. At long last, the Han will fall, and the yellow sky will rise. Nicely put. Blue sky. That's the sort of grey rainfall we've seen in the sort of intro movie from their perspective. The sort of oppression was really sort of personified is that the right word to use i think it is it's been a long time since i did in, in english eh? but personified by that sort of rain and then the sun comes up and is he's reaching for it it's the yellow scus uh, yellow sun the yellow turban rebellion i've also heard it called the yellow scarf rebellion but i think that's just a different way to translate it there we go right Let's get a wee look at you. I've given you the spear, but you don't look that. <laughs> to be honest, a wee bit disappointed by his model. I was expecting his robes. I think his robes, but then again, he's meant to be looking from like humble backgrounds. I expected a wee bit more from his robes or something, but. Steal yourself! Uh -huh. Right, we've seen characters like that before. This is a new unit. In fact, they're all new units. So the Messengers of Heaven will flanking a uh, missile defense. Even though they don't have a shield, it's quite weird to see they've got good missile defense. This is interesting. Uh, they're meant to just have faith protecting them from missiles. I don't know. Right. The Chosen of the Immortals. So they've got... Looks like they're wearing quite a decent piece of armour. Not bad, considering they've got a shield. They do have those mini halberds. Not halberds, they're uh, pikes. One in each hand. Very nice. I expect them to be quite good. Right. Pop these out of the way as well. G Defectors. Basically just G Infantry. With a full sized pike. Ready. The archers of. Uh, the archer gang. Looks like they're just wearing sort of wicker. It's almost like a wicker armor, isn't it? Looks like. Apart from that, they're just basic peasants with a bow. Right. Redeemed outlaws. So these were bandits that have sworn themselves to the Yellow Turban Rebellion and they've been redeemed. I'm guessing because the reason they were being bandits and outlaws is because they didn't have enough food to feed their families, that sort of thing. So I guess that's what it's sort of saying, like they've been redeemed. Because instead of being bandits for the sake of, like, their... Whatever you could argue that it's just justification, they don't need redeemed. But you get what I'm trying to say, they're now fighting for the virtuous... Eh... Uh, the virtuous... Yeah... Yellow Turban Rebellion, there we go. Words escape me. Right, uh, the Spearman Gang. Looks like they've got a cross between the wicker armor and that sort of light armor. I'm not sure if it's meant to be leather or like a padded material. I think that's everyone because this is more redeemed outlaws, more archer gangs. Yep. Right. To the battle of hand then. Use to the four. 
wonder if the AI is going to come charging at me. I'll just stick used to the rear. Probably not going to even need jizz, maybe. Probably not going to need jizz, maybe. Yes, words. Right, crit flame. Start the battle. The AI is going to yellow charge at me. on up my archers are probably just going to completely destroy them especially how you consider g infantry and g militia they're not even full infantry the captain's the only unit's got a modicum of protection against ranged you should be fighting with me you use two units the captain mm, he's an official but use our militia. Do not see what they're doing. They're using you. They're using you. You should join me. Same with the archer militia. Archer militia. Look at that. They haven't given you any armor at all. Look at my archer militia. At least I've given them wicker to put on themselves. Join me. The mandate of heaven. Even the infantry captain's fallen quite hard. The enemy warriors are running. Charge! Even the infantry captain's looking like running, it looks like. Yep. I didn't even think I'd need my melee troops. Then their fate shall be sealed from the charge here. They're wearing white. I never noticed that. How did I not notice that when I looked at them earlier? I probably did. I just forgot. The enemy unit bleeds. What cowards! Oh, one unit did get in. It was the captain. The time has come. Sealed the victory. We will go on for slightly, that would normally be a part now, but we will go on for slightly longer. Because uh, I've rambled a lot this part and talked about stuff like in the intro and all that, so I want to make it. Plus it's also the way YouTube works, the longer the video is, the higher the average view time will be, which makes it slightly better to find in the search. So I'd rather part one was slightly longer, so people that, it'd be the first part that normally shows up. If someone was just typing it in the search engine, like the last thing I'd want is like part five showing up. Like, that'd just be a pain. But it's actually not really average view time. I think it's total view time. So if you've got five people in the average, well, the average will still be bit. The average view time, technically, yes. If you've got the same viewers, that's what I'm trying to say. If you've both videos have five views and one has an average view time of 20 minutes and the other has an average view time. Of 10 minutes, the one with the average view time of 20 will show up first because 5 times 20 is a uh, 100. My brain didn't want to do maths for a second, even though that's probably about the simplest thing I've ever asked myself maths wise. So, yeah, 100 total view time over the other ones, which would have been 50. So, if the video is slightly longer, it'll push the average view time up a wee bit because people, some people watch it longer, which really just increasing the total view time is what I'm trying to say. At least that's the way YouTube's algorithms for the search engine used to work. I don't know if it, it does now. I remember there was a point in time, I don't know if it still does, give priority to uh, monetized videos, which makes sense. They're out of business. They'd much rather you watch a video that's monetized because then they'll make money from it, from the ads. So yeah. We will occupy an aid wound. They are lost and need guidance. And very nice. We've got the full province. 
uh, and then scenery in the form of a water clock. We'll start upgrading that farm ASAP. And if we take a look at the missions, I've done my farm, he's done his farm. We just need him to take the next piece of farm, which it looks like he's about to do. Oh, look, he's got a bull. Very nice. Happy days, and he's about to take this small town. Oh, he hasn't taken his initial settlement yet. Bad brother, bad brother, get attacking. So, the rebellion has now got three places under its control. Towards the 20, was it? Yep, we got light control. We're about to... Oh, wait, no, that's so specific. Three. Uh, one army. Complete, complete, complete. Oh. Last time, I'm pretty sure I started with one that was 20 provinces between the three factions, the brothers. And between you and your allies, basically. But maybe that was one I generated once I did the farm one? I can't remember. It was only like 50 minutes ago. Can't remember. Right. There we go. 5,000 treasury for us. Because we own those free farms. We are feeding the people. Ah. It was the one that was generated after you complete that one. Okay. And found 1,000 treasury. Very nice. And we now own four, five. So we're already getting close, right. First things first, I probably should start take die next and push on over this way. Take this full corner. I would like Bohai as well, actually, but no point in creating new enemies for the sake as of it. One, we move. Got quite a bit of money for now, so Let's pump that into there. This is a test of our faith. It's just pouring our two thousand into there, so we're pouring just money, throwing money at the situation here. And, uh, we do have this farm here producing quite a bit of food. So more money for food would be, and food would be a good idea. We've already got a public order building, which the public order seems fine. We've got a lot of fervor. There we go. So we spent that 5,000 on just getting this settlement upgraded faster. We've got exactly zero food. But we're going to get some more food in a second when we complete this. Right. Let's enter. Our mercy has its limits. Leo Chong has declared war on us. That's not really surprising. Justice is the greatest purpose. Zhang Liang requests remote support against Li Zhu. A rewarding meeting. Want to work really closely with my brother factions. Right, Leo Chong declared war on Zhang Zhu. Zhang Liang requested uh, Zhang Zhu join their war. Faction development's mandatory drills has finished. Lovely! I want these deployables. I really like the sound of the towers. And the oil. They both sound like they could be really powerful. Especially if the towers are as powerful as the ones in settlements. Oh! And then if I've got Artie to force the enemy to come to me. Oh! It just gets me giddy, the thought. Like, those pre-battle deployables are really going to suit my playstyle. I like a sort of hammer and anvil where I've got a wee bit arty that forces the enemy to come to me. And, like, I've got, like, a range superiority. That's the sort of tactics. I sort of so combine a range superiority and hammer and anvil is my sort of basic strategy. Just... Not intentionally. I didn't intentionally go to do that. Just that's the way I've sort of developed my play over the years. Purge corruption, not possible. Why is it not possible for you to walk up here? Well, he does have a bit of an army in there. Oh look, it's Gongun Zan. Got a new clay dog. That would actually be. Honor, faith. Satisfaction. The satisfaction buff would be good. 
do need more 40. And our 40 is now legendary. Very nice. That'll give us the legendary status. It's weird he doesn't start with that. But because of who he is, the general, I'm pretty sure he'll... Does he have... Okay, I'm guessing... Wow, General of Heaven! 20 expertise, 20 dissolve, 20 cunning, 20 instinct, 20 authority. Damn! That is good. <laughs> that we've got a wee bit of money coming in we need to take some more land let's end turn again right, let's see how my brothers are doing Looks like he's pretty strong. He's taken both here and here. Very nice. My other brother's got here and here. Our land is coming up. We all want two each. Yeah, and I'm just going to keep up increasing this because money and food. Money and food is always good. Reject money and food corruption. is. Where'd the army go? We strike as one blade. Heaven hear our fury. Well, that's really good for me because yoink. Our just deeds were blessed. And zeal occupying we eight wounded. We got the new town, which we're gonna have to be careful. Yeah, that separated his garrison and his army for me. What else can I say? That was perfect. What on earth was he doing over there? Is he at war with this guy? Must be. He must have been looking to take that young lumber yard. And I just nipped in at the perfect time. And the great the strategist I am. Totally on purpose. Yes. And game of right? So horse pastures. Oh, that'll be good to take. That'll have a very nice... It'll decrease the cost of cavalry. That kind of Only thing. Faith. Purges sickness. Right. Headquarters. Sympathetic political place. Yeah. Probably gonna want one of them everywhere. Fever from fervor from buildings. We're gonna want to keep the fervor high. This is the nah, that's the zeal that I share with my brothers. Seven decay from each brother faction wide four zeal faction wide so you're going to want to make sure this stays explosive fanaticism stays high because it looks like it gets some pretty nasty debuffs if you let it get low Now we'll just get the headquarters. And let's see what he does. A garden must be pruned of strangling weed. We're now at war with Sal Sal. I expect almost all the warlord fact type factions to declare war on me pretty fast. Aw, oh, please don't. You will not bend, so you will Another Warlord faction. I hate when AI does this kissy kissy catchy catchy chasey chasey thing. Technically, I shouldn't. Oh, garrison games. Foreign capture, what should we do? Beloved Lord, Public Order. Increased recruitment. Persuade them. Persuasion. Ooh, a loyal friend. Comes of age. I'm guessing he's going to go after here, which is rank 4, which is going to give us a wall and 4 units to defend. He doesn't have siege equipment, so he won't be able to go straight in, and even if he did, I think we would probably win that. The only thing I'd have to worry about is the characters, but the rest of the army would fall really fast. But the thing is, I don't want to scare him away. I wish I knew what his line of sight was. He'll definitely be able to see the stuff inside his movement area. The way is the only 
I want to just I want to go straight after the horse pastures, but I need to come finish him off. If he starts besieging, I need to kill him. So I really will don't want to take the time to finish him, change him. Maybe this isn't as perfect for me. After all, I probably actually I would have easily defeated him still if they were all in there. So my I don't know, yeah, my perfect strategy has turned out to actually be not that great. I'd rather have caught him in the settlement now, because now I'd be on my way, I'd have conquered die by now, and I'd be on my way to conquer the rest of this. <sighs> what can you do though? What can you do? This is the hand we've been dealt, we'll deal with it. But we'll deal with it next part, because this part is over. So I'm gonna say I hope you've all enjoyed it. Join me all next time for the next steps in our mandate of heaven. Oh a mathematician and ooh, very nice. I'll Our put some of that on the now. Wait, oh, wait, what? I thought it was a... Was that? Yeah. You can't use it? Oh, it's currently... Okay. It was... The reason we got it is the new family friend, Guan Fu. Looks like he may be a half decent character. He's got that too. Okay. He's a potter. So yes. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not that bothered about it. I'm going to steal it from that other character and put it on mine. Well, both are mine, but you get what I'm trying to say. Hope you've enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye, see, bye. Thank you.